It's going to be Williams to continue. This is James Williams, right arm off spin. Ball the first, good over. It just cost two runs. It's going to start over number four. And the total is one more than four. Five without loss. Williams, pass umpire. Boyce, here's a very driven and driven straight. Lovely shot by Morris going over the bowler, by Johnson, sorry. Going over the bowler's head and a couple of bounces and a roll over the rope for four. So there is Brian Johnson, Johnson, typical Johnson fashion. Just measuring the bowler and there's Williams giving it a little bit of air. And it was crunched down the ground for the first bounce of the West Indies in his day after nine out loss. First and trying to get it into the onside. Well, here is Williams, the ball to Johnson, and Johnson is driving through the air. Lovely shot. Over where extra cover will be around. Close to the boundary. You can give up the chase. It's into the boundary now for four. Oh, sweet. Over pitch, and Johnson into the drive. And uh, four more to Johnson. With that four, he's into double figures. He's on 11. And the West Indies at the end of over number four. 15 without loss, Kurt. Well, yes, Brian Johnson continues to score in through, the, during the, through the offside. And that's a favorite area for Brian Johnson. As long as you give him any room outside the Austin, he will look to capitalize. And the two deliveries on or about the Austin, one he lofted over the extra cover region, and the next one just hitting it a little slightly square this time and into the boundary. Same result, Lyndon. Two lovely shots by Brian Johnson as the West Indies team begin to make inroads into this chase. Yeah, it's Whitaker to continue into Bolton Mirage. Mirage drives over the field. And Finch, he has to run it close to the boundary. The ball goes into the boundary for fourth. Mirage has seven, fifth, 19 without loss. As Whitaker is into ball to Mirage, and Mirage gets a delivery. She's driving and uh, looks as though it might have been. I get the impression it's a bum ball. Well, but well, you've gotten a false impression, Lane. got a false impression. There, there was a there. simple catch. Into the man in there at the cover region, the extra cover region, and it's shelled it, Lyndon. You get the field for you in a minute. Rob Nelson. Well, recently we took down Nelson. Yeah, from in Bridgetown. <laughs> and they may have to remove this Nelson from the four square oval. So they could ruin that chance. Dropped by Nelson at cover. As Mirage waits on Whitaker, who's into him, and he's driving through Nelson. So Nelson having his problems. He's put one down. He's missed one. Yeah. It, it would be fair to say that Nelson is operating like the team secretary. Everything is going through him. <laughs> as I come to the end of my spell after this delivery, as Whitaker is in, Johnson is driving in the air. And again, he beats Jason Finch, who's having a lot of work. He has to run it back to take two. And they're going to hobble back. Johnson is going to hobble back for three. For two, sorry. So, Johnson carrying an injury and at the completion of over number five, Johnson is up to 13. West Indies are 22 without loss. Siraj, the ball what should be his final delivery as long as it's a legal one. Johnson down the track and when he gets here, sweeps to the man, to the right of the man, Jason Finch. Finch. Finch goes down in Ashtonville fashion, pushes foot at the ball. Ball goes through him again. The batsmen have completed one. And one more to Brian Johnson. He goes up to 14. And the West Indies Masters in pursuit of 99 for victory in over number six. In fact, at the end of over number six, 24 without loss, Lynn and Yard. Well, brilliant sunshine. Here at the four square oval as Whitaker on his way passes the umpire Prescott and this delivery is driven straight down the ground like a bullet from a gun and into the long off region, Lyndon, and into the boundary. An over-pitch delivery, and there was Brian Johnson coming on to the front foot. I don't want to say he caressed it because it was more bludgeon down the ground and past the man at mid-off. He didn't have a chance to come around. And a lovely boundary, another boundary struck the Brian Johnson. He goes up to 18, and I make it his third boundary of the inning so far, Lyndon, as he rests in his team. They go up to 28 without loss. We're in over number seven. Yeah. The ball is back with this side. This side seemingly getting through his overs rather quickly as well as this side. Passes umpire Boyce for the third time in this over. Johnson down the track when he gets there. Drives but straight to the field at three quarters of the way at mid-off, Lyndon. And the West Indies team losing their first wicket. That of Brian Johnson caught by it looks like the captain Willman at mid-off. Well, three quarters of the way down to the long off boundary. A good catch taken by the man down there. And they've lost their first wicket. That of Brian Johnson caught off the bowling of this side. Delivery also the awesome. Giving the ball some air, Lyndon. And I'll leave it for you to describe it. Yes, Steve Arferton passes umpire Tremaine Prescott. Bowling from 
around the way. Because Danny Ram drives pleasantly into the offside. Over the cover region, they've got one. Should run fairly close into the boundary. As it looks like the ball shall win this race, Lyndon. A pleasant shot by Danny Ram. Coming on to the front foot and immediately can recognize the class of Danny Ram. Just lofting this one over the infield and into the cover boundary for four. Well, if he's going to toss it up like that, then we're going to open a drive in school because Danny Ram is very sweet on the eye, very easy on the drive and excellently positioned. He's picked the gap and uh, four runs. A nice boundary there and that boundary sent the, right, the wide squirt. Yeah, back into the, 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 the piece, back in the, shell. the inner piece, as Arverton, both of delivery, quicker in trajectory and flight, and getting the batsman to go back quick circumspectly onto the back foot. So a good bit of bowling by Arverton after Come. he was just... Push and pull. Yeah. Using all of his guile and experience in the number 51 jersey, Steve Arverton, before this uh, one over for some... Five runs. Boza Davy, which is bringing the batsman forward, is wrapped on the pass again. And this time, the dreaded finger of the umpire, Tremaine Prescott, is raised. That index finger, Linden Yard. And the West Indies Masters, they've lost their second wicket, Linden Yard. The all important wicket of Danny Ram. He's been LBW for Arferton for 10. And the England team strike again, Linden Yard. Yes, and a prize wicket of Swedish Danny Ram. And, uh, a delivery didn't, he never really got into a stride and umpire Tremaine Prescott having little hesitation in raising the left index finger. So Danny Ram comes back and this is a praise wicket for the English side and uh, William Lashley will replace him and at the moment England they're crawling their way back into it but they need to continue to press for wickets because they had only mustered 98 of 30 overs and the West Indies going nicely. And having just lost two wickets. And what's most important is that the left-handed Mirage is still there. As Desai, 3.4 overs. No maidens, one for eight. On his way past umpire boys. Bows a flighty delivery. There's a the batsman having an almighty sweep. Linden Yard. And that's gone all the way. The first maximum of the innings. A lovely shot being played there by Desai. Into the sweep shot rather early. The conventional sweep shot. And it's gone a long, long way. Linden Yard, the first maximum as the West Indies. 50 comes up as well. 11.5 overs. 50 minutes of batting. One four, some four fours, Linden, and one six. 50 for two. We're in over number 12. As Moraj, competent enough to look to go by. India, 52 for four, or 15.4 overs. As Trotman was a bit down the leg side, not taken by the keeper. They run one. Short, fine leg is after it. Jason Finch, who's had a lot of work to do. They've run two. And Jason Finch just overhauls the ball, which pulls up for him. And he has a weak return into the keeper. And they take three wides, so three wides plus one. And uh, that will take the total now to 82. So I think my mass is right. Five in London. That is four, five in Barbie. So it actually launches this one over the mid-wicket region for six. Beautiful shot by Lashley. It was a shot devoid of risk because there was no man on the mid-wicket boundary. A lot of real estate there on the leg side and as long as he got it over the man at short mid wicket and he, he played it with a lot of intent so he went all the way so lovely shot there by William Lashley. Lashley on 14, Trotman to both of Lashley and Lashley's stylishly in behind it. At the northern end, let's watch him. He reminds me a lot of Freddie Flintoff. As he starts in, he's going to bowl around the wicket to bowl to Mirage, goes in to bowl to Mirage. And Mirage gets a debut Yorker left. So good start here by Cooper. Maybe they brought on Cooper a little late. He looks good on prime time in the UK. A time when England are not doing well. 92 remember, for two. Remember the English will have another important encounter tomorrow morning. Rather early. As Cooper's in, Lashley stands up tall. So it's been a good over. Ball there by Cooper. Gets a tremendous round of applause. Well deserved. International as another plane takes off in the distance. That's three in quick succession. And also taking off was Maharaj with that lovely sweep shot for another massive six. His second of the innings. And he's battled wonderfully well. He's faced 70 deliveries. The English don't make a lot of adjustments to the field. Just one run required. Maraj on 44, waits on Nelson, who's into him, and he stretches forward, thinks about the single to Lyndon, fill that cover. Lyndon, do you think Maraj is thinking about a half century here? He's on 44, one run required. He will need to hit a six. Do you <laughs> think he's entertaining the thoughts of, of completing a half century here? I'm not so sure he knows he's on 44. As Nelson is into him, and to this delivery, he's running it past the keeper. That's the winning run. The fielder 
from uh, point goes after the ball. That's Steve Atherton. And uh, that's game, set, and match. West Indies home in 23.3 overs as they overhaul England's 98 all in 30 overs to win by 8 wickets, finishing on 99 for 2. William Lashley now look 15 from 31 deliveries. But the man of the moment, the man of the inning is Ishwar Mirage. 45 from 72 deliveries at 8.18. The West Indies, that's 8.18 in UK time. The West Indies are on to Friday's final at Kensington Oval, where they will meet the US in the big man cricket over 50s Caribbean Cup. 